What's going on guys? Willie James here from Dreamhouse Music. Let's break down a nice clip from Facebook. A student sent this to me. It's by Zion C.A. Barnes. He did a nice saucy um, version of Lord Prepare Me um, in G major. You got to be kind of advanced uh, to understand this. I want to go from a perspective of breaking down the chords and the structure and not necessarily playing note by note. I try to emulate his style, but you know, every keyboardist has their thing. So um, <clears throat> I'm going to try to play along, see if I could play through uh, a clip of it. And then, so whenever I start playing and stop, that's what I wanted to cover. So let me see here. I'm in ridiculous. Right here. For the band. Two, three. That's that's about it. Um, so let's go from a perspective of understanding the chords. So the progressions. First of all, we're in the key of G. My bad. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, one. Uh, you need to know your diatonic chords. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, one. Um, he does a lot of chord extensions, and he's also playing rootless. So you got to know your chords really well, right? But first. What is the progressions of this vamp? Um, so it's one, three, six, five, one, four, six, two, five, five, one. Okay, let me do that again. Okay, so you got to be able to know the bass note progressions. Right, these are the root notes of the chords that are being played. So one, three, six, right? Five, one, right? Four, six, two, five, five, one. Okay, and I think it just loops after that. It just repeats that um, chord progression. So let's go over the chords. I'll do them as if you're playing the bass, and then I'll do rootless. So the first chord, you could play like um g major seven let me bring up my chords here so right so basically it's a g major nine okay that's the root of the chord on the one on the one chord right now you can play this different ways if you're playing without a bass player you can play like this you play the one and the five you can play the two which is the nine the five and the seven right to thicken it up, add that three, which is the B. So G major nine in root position. Uh, but I would voice it like this, right? What is this? It's the one, the five, which we're just using the G major scale, right? The one, the five, here's the two or the nine, same thing. Three, five, and there's the, um, the seven, the major seven. Okay. Um, or you could voice it like this. You could go kind of like this. Okay, which is the one and the seven. Three, five, seven again, and the three. So it's like a B minor over G. Or you could do this, right? Three, the five, the seven, and the, uh, the two or the nine. Right, choose your flavor of you know what you want. You can mix and match as much as you want, right? You could even add the one, the five, and the seven in your left hand. Okay? Okay, so that's the one chord. Now the three chord is a dominant seven chord. Okay, so you gotta know your B major scale. What's the dominant seven? It's the one, the three of the B major scale, because we're on the B chord. Um, and then the flat seven is an A, okay? And then we add the sharp nine and then the sharp five. 
Okay. So it's almost like a the other way I like to think of the this sharp nine chord is it's really a G sus two over um, a B major um, interval, major third. Okay. But you could invert this G and it gives this nice thick dominant sound. Okay. So you have to know your B major scale. Right? So we had the one, the three, flat seven. Here's the sharp nine, because two in the B scale is uh, C sharp. So you raise that to a D, raise the five F sharp to a G. So here's the one, here's the three chord, and then my favorite chord on the six. Remember the progression is a one, three, six. So the six chord is an E minor seven, and then you add the nine, so E minor nine. Okay, so it's keep one, three, six, okay? And I voice it like this. You could do this minor nine so many ways, you could thicken it up by adding the F sharp with your left thumb here. And then cluster it. Look at all these clustered notes. It's like a G add two with the seventh. And then you could add the one and the five in the left hand. Then you could add the F sharp up here. If you want it really thick and juicy, right? So one, three, six. That's our six chord, E minor nine. And then the five chord, which is D, is a D minor seven, D minor nine. Okay, that's all it is. So you could voice it like this. Um, I, I would take the one and the five, put it in the bottom. So you have like an F major seven over a D interval, a D five. Okay, or a D minor without the F. And then so it goes up to a five. And when we go on the one, what happens is the C drops to a B. Okay, so that's the typical um, harmonic movement there. The C drops to a B to create a G dominant chord. Okay, this is G dominant seven, nine, and we added the 13. Okay, so it's a G 13, but I voiced it like so. Take out these two, keep the B here. And here's our 13. 13 is just 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6. It's the sixth degree of the scale. 6 and 13 are the same thing. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13. So it's a G13. We usually voice it like this. 1, 7, 9. Here's the 3 or the 10 and the 13. Okay? So what do we have so far? 1, 3, 6. Gotta know your number system. Five, one, and then our four chord. I love this four chord. This is a C six nine, so it's a five. Hey, I hope you enjoyed today's tutorial. If you want access to the full tutorial, please join me in Dreamhouse Un Academy. It's my own private training site, kind of like a Facebook for courses. Where you get more access to me right you get midi files chord charts uh, monthly live trainings on zoom and weekly song tutorials sent to your email right it's very affordable click the link in the description and join see you soon